goes through most women's heads is that I want to do it, but I don't know how the other people in my life will be able to take it. Will they, sh- will I shock them? Yes. You know, will my husband like divorce me? Will my kids laugh at me? Yes. And then I thought about it and said, that's ridiculous. That's right. totally ridiculous because you know, I, you know, learning for many years with Rabbi Chemov, and he taught us about, you know, like being true to yourself and having the courage. And, you know, I said, what, what is, what are people going to do to me? I mean, really, are my kids going to divorce me? No way. Are they going to stop calling me on the phone? Right. And I didn't think, you know, and I realized that my husband, it didn't matter. He wasn't, he wasn't against it. So it was more in my mind. Which is an important point. It's it's all in the mind. It is an important point. But you did receive backlash. In fairness, you did receive backlash. It wasn't a smooth transition for sure. Um, And I'm so glad that you touched on that because there are a lot of women um, and it always brings me back to that pasuk. I mean, we just passed it with the miraglim that says we were grasshoppers in their eyes. And of right. course, this is it, to me, it always highlights this mental state that you see yourself as less than. And that, like you said, that energy you feel from your friend. I felt like people will also feel that energy that you're giving off um, about whatever it is in your life. It doesn't have to be the mitbacha, whatever it is. I feel like sometimes people feel the energy you're giving out. And if you are feeling that somehow you are less than, I think then you will be grasshoppers in their eyes. Um, And I think that a lot of women face this 